Hey my friend, I just wanted to share a quick tip on ambient tones today. So I was reading some comments on some of my ambient guitar songs and I get some questions like, what are your reverb settings to have such a wide and deep reverb sound? Like I'm listening and your tone is so clear and deep, but it doesn't sound like it's going all over the place on your reverb. So what is your reverb setting? And most of the times, that's the mistake some people are doing. They assume that if you want to sound deep with your ambient tones, you got to have a lot of reverb, which is not always the case. So sometimes they're going to put the mix and depth like this on their reverb pedal, and they're going to start playing, and it's going to sound like this. So there's a lot of DK and reverb going on here and maybe that sounds great for that part, but as soon as you want to add other layers and other loops on your song, that's going to mask everything and that's going to become muddy. So you shouldn't overdo it with your reverb like this. So that was my song Translucent and now let's listen to the beginning of your song, of the song to hear how it sounds actually in the song. So you hear there wasn't as much reverb as that at the beginning of the song. To get a deep tone like this, I was rather using a deep chorus setting. So that might be nice to explore some chorus settings if you want to sound deep without masking everything else with too much reverb. So I backed off on the reverb a little bit and I'm just going to use my Strymon Ola on the multi type, which is even deeper than the regular chorus. And then I'm using a mid slow speed, some very high mix and depth and a neutral tone. And that's what's doing this kind of tone here. So if I put this on, it sounds like this. So if I have a sound like this, if I want to add other layers afterwards, they are not going to be masked by this sound because it's still deep, but it's not like ringing forever underneath and that's not going to steal the spot of other parts. So think about that. When you want to sound deeper, you can just use a deep chorus setting instead of overdoing it with your reverb. So I hope you liked that little tip today. I kept it short on purpose. And if you want to get my new free course on ambient guitar, on creating ambient guitar music fast in three simple steps, you know where to click first link in the description box. So thank you very much for watching this video and until next time, au revoir.